Joining us now for reaction is Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, who's a Republican, and Teslin Figaro, who worked on the Bernie Sanders national campaign. All right, let's start with you, Teslin. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, as just a person, forget Republican or conservative, how Democrats argue against an economy that is helping so many who've been kicked so far down on the economic ladder for so long, whether it's unemployment, wages going up, optimism, opportunity for small businesses. Why would you want to change that? Well, that's the problem, uh, Laura. They're not arguing it. They're not having the debate to actually talk about the issues at hand. You know, Democrats have been playing platform hopscotch uh, for the last several years, which is why we lost the Dem uh, the House and the Senate. Um, going from the center, at first it was all about being in the center with Clinton, then it went to the left with Sanders. Now, but by 2020, they'll be back in the center. You know, so I'm here to say that it's time they pick a side or step aside. You know, decide what platform you're actually going to push and how you're going to push that narrative. Um, it's okay to talk about President Trump and what they don't like about Trump, but but they do have to be able to sell the message that they're going to be able to take the American people further than where we are right now. Um, getting into the debate on whether that was from the benefit of Obama or where it's from the Trump has nothing to do with what individuals are dealing with right now, which is how are we going to be able to move America forward? And that is what you're seeing with the divide between the far left and the middle uh, of the Democrat Party. Well, uh, Pam, let's go to you. I I'm again for the life of me, though, uh, despite that, you know, there's this debate in the Democrat Party, I guess, from the more far progressive side to the old guard Democrat Party that believed in, you know, more the TPP and they wanted to do they were more into military interventions and so forth. But I'm still not hearing even from the progressives, other than saying we want free college and we want free health care. I'm not hearing a substantive argument about how you're going to get to 4.1% GDP or this level of, of unemployment. How, how are you going to better what Trump is doing? And they can't. And frankly, I don't understand the patriotism of some of these leaders, Laura. You know, Cory Booker says today something savagely wrong with America. Really? Uh, I don't even understand that when, you know, he doesn't have to like the president. He didn't have to vote for the president. But you, ha you should want to hope for the president's success because, as you said, minority unemployment has plummeted. Um, Hispanic unemployment which is so important in my state, it's at a low of 4.5. The lowest it was ever under President Obama was 5.4. So, and as you said about kids that had dropped out of high school, the record fell 5.1%. How great is that, unemployment? So I don't understand how they would not root for the success of America, because when you do, it's rooting for the success of all of us.